Welcome. As always, links down below in the description box to credit where I'm getting my information from. The next Call of Duty game is going to be Black Ops 6. It's going to be releasing this fall, probably sometime in October, give or take a couple of weeks. The worldwide reveal is set for June the 9th. So tune in to Twitter, wherever you get your gaming news in general, for more information on that. And the story for Black Ops 6 is rumored to take place at least in some part during the Gulf War. There's also another bit of potential information that may have been revealed. And this is not confirmed. But there are reasons to believe that the events, terrorist events of 9-11, 2001, could be a part of the game. And the reason for that is all in this article. If you want to read it, if you zoom in, you pause Easter egg, there's stuff about 2001, blah, blah, blah. All their marketing posters are, have been in New York too. So there's just like a lot of little things there. I just want to quickly bring to you the attention that a big popular franchise game is coming when it's being revealed, roughly when it's releasing, kind of give you the gist of what's going on, keep you in the loop, and that there's a controversial thing, as they state here, in terms of the 9-11 thing. Now, for me, it's not controversial. I suppose it depends on how... Oh, she's gone. Really depends on how you do it. If you were having it so that the mission uh, was like no Russian... For example, where you go in, you're the terrorist, you're flying the planes physically into the buildings. Yeah, I could understand how some people would think that's in poor taste. But again, context matters. They're not they're they're not doing it to ridicule or mock the events uh, that happened on that day. Let's let's not be so soft in fake virtual worlds like we are in the real world to the point where home alone with Macaulay Culkin, the second one in New York where at one point they had completely removed a couple of scenes where, first of all, Donald Trump was in it, because he's Donald Trump. We're not going to get into that one in this video. And they even removed the part where he was uh, near the Twin Towers, because, you know, difficult. Then they put it back in. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I could still understand why people would think that's in poor taste. Some people are just more sensitive than others, and... I suppose you can decide whether or not you want to respect that. But on the flip side, if you do respect that, then hopefully what happens in return is that they respect you. If you're like, I don't see anything controversial about this whatsoever. We make movies, video games that have to do with wars all the time. Uh, Call of Duty as a whole is a game about shooting and killing people. It's simulated mass murder. But yet that's not controversial. But now let's throw in an actual event that occurred and now all of a sudden oh it's controversial chances are in good faith i would think it's going to have something to do with you responding to the attacks uh, something about maybe being the hero rescuing people i don't know i'm just like fabricating this off the top of my head as i'm literally recording this i have no script here i highly doubt that they're going to make it into some kind of comedic mockery uh, of some sort so i i just do not get controversial part i just maybe as i'm getting older i'm just becoming more cold-hearted i don't know but we definitely live in a world as a lot of people like to say and i hate this word with a passion woke uh, and i do believe we live in a world where we need to do better but at the same time we've gone way too far like we were over here and I feel we need to do a little bit better. But now we've gone over here. And it's like, whoa. <laughs> That's not what I meant by that. But it's just gone too far. It's that whole give them an inch, they take a mile saying. And that applies to a lot of different topics that can be controversial that I won't cover in this video. That's usually for my news politics controversial channel. I actually have a YouTube channel dedicated to this bullshit. But this has to do with video games. This is what I predominantly do talk about on this channel. Hence why I'm making this video and I'm just kind of give you a quick little rant in the first minute, under a minute. Hopefully you got the gist of what's going on. Next Call of Duty, it's a Black Ops. Where it's supposed to be set, rumored to be, when the reveal is, that kind of thing. It keeps you in the loop with the gaming news. 
And then, of course, I throw in other stuff that's been mentioned, that's been rumored. And I kind of give you my quick take on it for the few people that will give a shit about that. And then let you make your own uh, informed decision. You can comment down below and say, hey, man, I think that's in bad taste. I think it's controversial. Here's why. It's okay. I'm not going to attack you. Right? And in return, what I hope is naturally... Who keeps texting me? Naturally is that I don't uh, get attacked. Not that I care if I do. Um, I don't I don't care. Like, I don't get offended. I, I just... I've never been that kind of person that gets offended by shit like this. It's it's just so... For me, it's ridiculous to, to, to get really upset like some people have in the past in similar situations like this. Like one of my favorite TV shows in the whole world is uh, Seinfeld. If that show were to air today and you started it today, I want to say more than half the stuff that was in there would not fly today. And again, some things, some, some things, I kind of get. But for the most part, not really. Some stuff, yes. Okay, but we live in a world where apparently certain flags make people feel safe. Talk about a security blanket there. But yeah. Thumbs up if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm and trying to make me relevant. We see how all that's going after five and a half years. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead. Give it a thumbs down. Blend it in half. We'll twist it. I'll break off one of these things off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not... I get it. Trust me. I get it. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. I'm lucky. Bye for now.